our tale of the tape for this strawweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC strawweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, the problem. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, Pantera. You ready to fight? Ready. Do it. We are on the way here at the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. You can take out the Lance Bowl. Trying to recover full guard here. She's in trouble, dude. Oh, good work from her here from bottom position. Really doing a nice job getting these shots home on the ground. Oh, right, it's a mount. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Great slip. Even though her opponent's throwing, she's not finding much success. She's trying to pass the guard here. Ooh, gets denied by the she bottom fighter. She got stopped. She got stopped right in her tracks. Great job by the bottom fighter. And there you go. Again, half guard. Nice pass. She's stepping over the mount here. Nice transition. See where she's setting up a submission here. Good attempt. Oh, man, it's getting deep. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters their submission defense. There's a lot of good movements. And now she's in mount. Two minutes to go. Oh. Well, she'll ground you and she will pound you. These strikes are really starting to add up. They're starting to add up because now she's more willing to take chances knowing that she can land. Transition into full guard if you're the top fighter. Where do you go from here? Try to posture up, get some big ground and pound off, which will lead to you passing the half guard. Under a minute now to go round one. Oh, looked like that strike from the bottom fighter got the crowd's attention. Standing over her opponent and landing a nice combination of strikes, so staying active enough for the referee and really making these shots count. She's not being overzealous. She's not looking for too much time. Eventually, she hopes that she will find a shot that finishes the fight. Oh, a strong punch by her there. Five minutes in the books as we take a look at the replays from that previous round. She can punch with anybody in this division. Yeah, with the best in this division and the best in any sport. She's a fantastic boxer. And you could see it in the amount of punches that she landed in that previous round. You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with round two. All right, so here we go with our next round, and if Ray Longo was here, he would have said the previous round was an absolute striking clinic. Not a ton of volume, but every time she threw a strike, it seemed to find the target. And we had no question as to who won the round. Right. Because even though her opponent was throwing, 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 when she threw, it mattered. And that is what defines her as a mixed martial arts. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, big knee to the head, wow! Tries to work it into a takedown. This could be the end of I mean, she hurt her so bad with that big head kick. I don't know how she stands. Well, it looked like 
Ooh, gotta get a fit. Oh! Huge shot going on right here. Oh, big left hand. He's got a quick jab, there it is. Nicely done as she closes the distance to attain the single collar tie. All right, so a storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing. She's got her in a lot of trouble. Oh, big left hook there. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Vision. Could become an issue in that left eye starting to close. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we submission attempt for her here. Ooh, she's got a tight. DC Holmes in real trouble. She's in a lot of trouble. It's getting very tight. The arm might end the fight, instead she gets out. It was over, and that's so discouraging for the opponent to survive something like that. Hats off to this young lady in her submission defense. Oh, how good is her submission defense there? Nice ground strikes landed by her from top position now. Ground strikes really adding up for her now. She's nasty on the ground, and now she's cut her, and it looks like it excites her. Five seconds remain in the round. She postures up here. Oh, delivers a big ground and pound shot to the head. Trying to stay heavy here as best she can. She's trying to pass here, gets denied. Got denied because she's so aware, so on top of the grappling transition. Good job by her here to land some strikes from top position. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, what a round it was. It's a replay guy's dream. Take us through the highlights, DC. A lot of head kicks here. She did a lot of good work, but it was the head kicks that you're going to remember. She landed them multiple times. She was able to find the target, find the head on many occasions, and really damage her opponent. You ready to fight? You ready? Let's Third round it. underway. Here we go with our next round. Certainly some big moments in that previous round. Oh, yeah, beautiful straight punch. And now her opponent's firmly on the ropes. But she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, how impressive is this young woman? High volume of strikes in the previous round and picking up exactly where she left off here and not really showing any signs of slowing down. She looks like she could go 10 hard fives tonight if need be. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown game? Well, this is one of the more active rounds we have seen all night long. Both of these women have realized success with the striking and both seem damaged. It's always fun when you get a fight like this where you see the blood on both sides, where you see the swelling on both sides, where you see the concern for both fighters recognizing that, wow, I've got my equal in front of me. Let's see who can push through and get the victory. Really nice job blocking that shot. So how about this result tonight? She told us in the fighter meeting, I gotta get a finish here tonight. She absolutely kept the judges out of it. That is her signature win, and this crowd enjoyed every minute of it. Signature win, John. She has never looked better. She said she was gonna get a finish. She got the finish. What a tremendous performance by this young lady.
All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Deans called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 20 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pantera. Well, you see the raw emotions and the happiness out of her in her corner. What a result here tonight as she gets it done by knockout. I mean, she